what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. Yeah, I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news, well, transfer news video, where I'm going to be talking about Chelsea's appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sport and how they're likely to hear back from them very soon indeed. More noises come out of the club of the rumoured areas where they want to target to reinforce the squad if the ban is indeed lifted in January, or even if they have to wait till next summer. And a bit more positive reinforcement regarding Jadon Sancho and how Chelsea are indeed very interested in the player. And are actually confident of landing the player ahead of Manchester United, and the player is most likely to sign for either Chelsea or Manchester United when you think about it, and we'll get into that as well. But before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys, are you interested in FIFA 20 foot champions? Well, if you are, go subscribe to Yam Plays and help me out on the new campaign I'm doing. It's a very interactive series where I read all comments and basically play accordingly to your guys' suggestions. Oh yeah, and also subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new for daily Chelsea content. Right then, transfer news. To talk about transfers, we need to know if Chelsea Football Club can indeed make Make transfers. Well, it's recently been reported that Chelsea will indeed hear back from Cass this week. That's right, in the next 48 hours. The ruling will be made over the next two days and Chelsea will hear back on whether their appeal was successful. The Blues have always maintained the same stance that they had done nothing wrong. Without knowing the fine details myself, I feel like maybe Chelsea, I'm speculating here, probably played within a loophole. Regardless, like I said, they've always maintained the stance that they've done nothing wrong. They've swallowed one Windows transfer ban. I think they knew that was coming, hence Christian Pulisic. But I think they're quite confident that the ban will be lifted in January and they can do some much needed business with a lot of money that they've stockpiled up the last, I don't know, season or so. Chelsea won't look to buy loads of players though. The Champions League has a rule where Chelsea can only register three new players. And to be honest, I can't imagine Chelsea would be inclined to buy more than three new players in the January transfer window. One or two maybe, three at max, but any more for me would seem silly and certainly that might disrupt what is a good squad harmony at the moment down in southwest London. As more and more news comes out every single day in all the publications, it does look more and more evident that both Olivier Giroud and Pedro will leave Chelsea Football Club, maybe imminently. Certainly it makes a lot of sense for Giroud to go in January like I've said in previous videos, but really it kind of looks like Pedro may go as early as January as well. Chelsea can at least make some money on him then. But again, certainly with Pedro, not so much Giroud, I think this would rely on Chelsea being able to make transfers in January. Again, as we roll ever closer to the window opening, more and more news comes out regarding Chelsea, where they're at, what the club wants, what the coach wants. And the same themes have been fermented. Chelsea are looking for a left back, a wide attacker, and maybe a striker. Again, Giroud's on his way out, and Michy's not always seems to be the right answer. And then when you're thinking of making Pulisic a striker, I think it's time to maybe buy a striker. Regarding a left back, although he served the club well, everyone knows Marcus Alonso hasn't been performing of late. In fact, it's been speculated that ever since he signed his new long-term extension, his levels have dropped. Sure, he's come in for the odd game and looks pretty good at times, but generally, as a conventional left back, he's very, very poor. Chelsea are unlikely to play with a left wing back much and to be honest Emerson can play as a left wing back so Alonso's time looks to be coming short and maybe Chelsea will sell him and try and make a better cash out of him you know who can play left wing back as well as left back incredibly well that is Ben Chilwell now we've talked about Ben Chilwell before on this channel and he is absolutely a number one target for Chelsea in terms of left back whether they'll have the money to buy say a Ben Chilwell as well as a really high profile wide attacker I'm not sure both. Would Ben Chilwell want to come to Chelsea? Maybe. The Frank Lampard project is exciting and it's a big club and it's living in London, but it's the same thing about leaving that good Leicester project at the moment. People are talking about Brendan Rodgers leaving Leicester to go to Arsenal mid-season. And he doesn't really help that when he talks about break clauses in interviews. Anyway, I'm not talking about Brendan Rodgers. Chelsea want Chilwell. They probably have some other names, uh, you know, jotted down that they'll, they've scouted or they'll try and look to buy but you know, Ben Shearwell's at the top. In terms of a striker, it's a more difficult one because it's gonna be a backup striker and really how many 
decent hungry strikers want to come to a club and be a backup striker probably a lot in terms of lower profile ones you get to live in London probably get paid a lot but you want the kind of striker that's really going to put Tammy Abraham on his toes and be hungry that's what Frank Lampard will want he'll want someone to push him as much as he wants Abraham to be successful and be the one he wants the option that if Abraham drops off his priority is Chelsea winning and ultimately another really good striker will sh should raise the levels of Tammy Abraham's play. So it'll be interesting to see who Chelsea are in for in terms of striker. Maybe they'll take to Europe and buy a little bit more of an understated younger striker and see how he gets on in the Premier League. Kind of like what they did originally with Michy Batshuayi when they had Diego Costa. And remember, Batshuayi had been a really good second striker to Diego Costa. I'm not saying he can't be to Tammy Abraham, but really at the moment, maybe for Frank Lampard's football, it might be good to freshen things up a little bit, especially with the imminent exit of Olivier Giroud. Right, the third spot is obviously the wide attacker and a big, big name, the big name on everyone's lips and the player I've spoken about on this channel before is of course young Englishman Jadon Sancho. Nizar Kinsella of Goal.com recently published an article on this and he spoke of how the one to way forward in Jadon Sancho has two likely locations in Chelsea Football Club and Manchester United. And apparently Chelsea Football Club are confident in landing the player over bidding rivals Manchester United. Nizar says in this piece that Chelsea are willing to break their transfer record. Now you'd absolutely assume this is what it would take to bring Sancho to Chelsea. But it's good to hear reiterated because of course Chelsea have spent £72 million on Kepa Rita Balaga. £72 million is still a lot of money right? Like I've said before Chelsea have generated a lot of funds from the sales of Morata and the sales of Eden Hazard and finishing third in the Premier League and winning the Europa League and just general you know club revenue. Avenue. With all that, you could probably see Jadon Sancho as an Eden Hazard replacement. And although Manchester United would probably outbid Chelsea in terms of what money they'd offer Dortmund, maybe you'd think Jadon Sancho would say, I'll only sign for Chelsea out of the two. That's no disrespect to Manchester United, who are indeed probably the, still the biggest club in English football. But if you look at the project at the moment and where they are, and the fact how Chelsea are much more likely to offer Champions League football, and you know he's from around the same area as Tammy Abraham, he kind of grew up with him, He's sort of best mates with Callum hudson Adoy. he's a boyhood Chelsea fan, he says he sort of idolised Lampard and Drogba growing up. Now I've said all that, it's nailed on, he goes to Manchester United, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, romance is one thing, but money talks, man. If Manchester United offer him 300k a week, Chelsea offer him 100k a week, he might say, you know what, United are still a good side, I'll play with Rashford, Martial and whatever, I fancy that. It could happen. There is a concern and it's something I've spoken about before, it's Christian Pulisic. Obviously, the man on fire at Chelsea lately. I know his Dortmund exit wasn't a direct result of Sancho's inclusion, but he might think, oh, this dude's following me and it's causing aggro and oh man, what am I gonna do? But to be honest, I feel like he should feel safe under Frank Lampard in this current Chelsea project. Lampard rates Pulisic very, very, very highly and he sees him as a player that can absolutely develop under his coaching. And let's not forget, Pulisic and Jadon Sancho are very different types of players stylistically. So I think they could both offer different things. And they already have somewhat a bit of chemistry together. I don't think there's any animosity between the individuals. So provided all parties are happy, then it could be a really excellent blockbuster transfer and Sancho could join the Lampard revolution with all the youth and exciting direct football. Hopefully Chelsea can do bits moving forward. So that's it for today's transfer news video. What do you guys think? Get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on players coming in, players going out. I know a lot of football fans and Chelsea fans would prefer Chelsea to sign someone like Hakim Ziyech rather than Jadon Sancho. Probably cheaper, you know, dead ball specialist. Quite a bit older though. Either way, it will be really, really interesting to see what Chelsea do if they do indeed have the ban lifted in the next couple of days. So that's it guys. Remember to go and subscribe to Yam Plays link in the top of the description and also follow me on social media at football yannick on both twitter and instagram that's at football yannick all right guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video you lot enjoy the football and i will see you later football therapy subscribers and viewers it is i yan talking to you from my office in the post editing phase listen 
this is a quick plug and message and reminder to you guys do go and subscribe to my second channel yam plays it's loads of fun even if you're not a chelsea fan i play fifa i'm gonna play different games too but at the moment i'm playing fifa 20 chelsea career mode it's loads of fun it's really interactive i'm getting all your guys information from the comments and basically playing like that so do come check it out and subscribe all right cheers you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby